in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the word of god it's the 9th of january wednesday after the epiphany today we remember saint andrew cotsini a carmelite bishop and it is marked as n r i day remember all the nris a reading from the first letter of saint john chapter 4 verses 11 to 18 beloved if god so loved us we also ought to love one another no man has ever seen god if we love one another god abides in us and his love is perfected in us by this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his own spirit and we have seen and testify that the father has sent his son as the savior of the world whoever confesses that jesus is the son of god god abides in him and he in god so we know and believe the love god has for us god is love and he who abides in love abides in god and god abides in him in this is love perfected with us that we may have confidence for the day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world there is no fear in love but perfect love casts out fear for fear has to do with punishment and he who fears is not perfected in love the word of the lord thanks be to god my dear friends love is a dynamic act god is in a dynamic relationship with humans in the reading that we just heard john says god is love he is love because he is a trinitarian god in his perfect act of love the father empties himself totally and gives to the son and the spirit likewise the son empties himself completely to the father and the spirit and the spirit with his self emptying love gives himself completely to the father and son this radical openness of one person to the other is called trinitarian communion radical openness of one person to the other is called trinitarian communion god's love is unselfish unmotivated and unconditional 
द केनोटिक और सेल्फ एम्टींग लव ऑफ गॉड इज एक्सटेंडेड टू ह्यूमन बींग्स एज वी आर गॉड्स ओन इमेज we are the images of trinity this communication or this communitarian aspect communitarian aspect of god leaves us with no option than to love one another we are in god and god's spirit is in us we are in a network of relationship the opposite of love is fear hate causes fear fear and hate causes anxiety dread fright panic quarrel murder and terror it causes all kinds of unpleasant emotions phobias neurosis and even serious psychotic disorders by living a life of love by loving one another completely we become more and more bold even to face the day of judgment of god if we love someone we have no fear of him or her why there are so many unpleasant experiences in the world today is because we have failed to reflect reflect god's love in us we also have failed to love god as jesus walked in love in the world we are to love one another while in the world we are to bear witness and proclaim the love of god and love one another just as christ did my dear friends today as we find in the bible diary it's the birthday of felix de souza from dubai lydia mathias from mumbai felix ronald lobo from kulshekar wish you all a happy birthday my dear friends may the lord bless your life abundantly it's also the uh, a day where we join with luisa de souza from from kuwait praying for all the abandoned souls and today my dear friends is the fifth day of the novena the theme of the day is pray for the grace growing holiness pray for god's grace and growing holiness and the day is dedicated to all the youth in mangalore and udupi diocese this year has been declared as the year of the youth so in a special way we pray for all the youth today let's remember the young ones that we have in our families may they grow in holiness may they be obedient to their parents may they succeed in their studies and business may they have a bright future also we pray for our own personal intentions and now we pray the novena prayer to infant jesus o holy infant jesus through your life on earth you reveal to us by many marvels your hidden power So now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions of all those who call upon you in faith and trust amen 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. O miraculous infant Jesus, look upon us as we turn to you, imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties. Let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications and grant us the favour which we urgently implore you. Free us from all affliction and despair, all trials and misfortunes, and give us your support and consolation, so that we may praise you and the Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Thanksgiving Prayer in a moment of silence, let's thank God for all the blessings that we have received through our children, especially the young ones. For all the good things that our young people are doing. For all the glory, honor that we have received through these young ones of our family. O most generous infant Jesus, we on our knees have come to express our deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands. We believe, Jesus, that together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you are our Creator and Savior. Henceforth, we place all our trust in you. Through this miraculous statue, May your devotion be spread throughout the world and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby untold divine blessings and favours. All praise and honour be to the infant Jesus. Amen. Pray for God's blessing, my dear friends. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you. From above, may he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, this is Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite Priest, and my WhatsApp number is 948126322994812632299. 948126322299. Today, again, in the Infant Jesus Shrine, there are nine Eucharistic celebrations. Every one and a half hour. There is a Eucharist in Konkani in the morning, beginning at 6, then at 7.30, then at 9, then at 10.30, and then at 1. And as you visit the shrine, please have your Bible diary. And you know, it is printed in aid of the education of the children of the blind. So when you buy a diary, you are also partaking in this noble mission of educating the blind. So don't forget to have your copy of the Bible diary 
both in english and konkani at the shrine that's all for today see you tomorrow bye bye